All right, this here is going to be a video on the Mugen RR wing install on a 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan. I bought this off of eBay. The fitment from eBay was actually really good. These badges here, I bought separate. It was not included with the wing. The wing was 275 shipped from an aftermarket company. Comes in four pieces, I believe. One, two, three, four. It's got some mounting brackets underneath. I was looking up for a while to try to find an install video and I couldn't find anything. There was a lot of stuff on the coops on how to remove the stock SI wing and there was a lot of things on how to install a stock Mugen wing but nothing on the RR. Um, so kind of just played everything by ear, did it all by myself. Well, actually me and a buddy did it. This is from the factory wing. There's, I think, an eight millimeter bolt that holds this on. And then I had to drill this hole and this hole. And I don't know if you can see down in there or not. You can't see down in there. Let me grab my flashlight. There's the other screw that's down in there. Those holes have to be drilled out. Now, if you buy this same one off of eBay, um, it will come with all the mounting hardware. So these two holes have to be drilled. And the same thing for the other side. There's this hole. In this hole, you see the screws down in there. You can see that one. Um, use Sharpie. Alcohol will take this off. I just haven't got around to it. I did use a Dremel for all this as well. Uh, oh no, I use a step uh, step drill bit to drill these holes. Um, used a Dremel to smooth out the edges and make and uh, widen the holes. The downside to this is that once you take your factory wing off, if you are running the stock SI trunk, you will have holes left over from the stock wing. And this is what your end product will look like. This piece here, if you look at any of the other photos, what I've did research online, this is supposed to sit flush with the back of the trunk. As you can see, it's kind of recessed a little bit. It sits inside. There is no 3M tape that comes with this. I went to a parts store and bought 3M tape and just put some along this side, ran a long strip all the way down, same thing on this side. And then, um, you know, ran a piece in the front. Sorry about that. And then went to O'Reilly's and then just got these um, rubber plugs. They're not held in there very tight. I'm going to put some sealant on them. But you've got these holes here. It's just a little rubber grommet plug. It just kind of slides down in the hole. Just like that. And then also right here. That blue tape is covering up where the third brake light goes. There's a lens on there. It's covering up where the third brake light goes. There's a pretty sizable hole right underneath this. Um, the easiest way I found to get this installed was whenever you buy this wing, and it's already pre-painted they have different colors you know the nighthawk black pearl galaxy gray alabaster silver rally red um pretty much any color that the si comes in fiji blue pearl uh they have them unpainted as well that's a little bit cheaper the reason why i got this because it has the carbon fiber top um it comes with the little um like cushion like little pads 
I don't know if let's see if you can see them. Yeah. These these little black cushion pads, it's like a it goes on the bottom part of the wing, it keeps it from scratching up the trunk. So I use that as my template and I cut it out of cardboard. Uh, whenever you cut that out of cardboard, it's best to tape it to the bottom side of this wing. Tape it to the bottom side here. Put it on the trunk, have the tape reversed. So when you put it on the trunk, you can take the tape and fold it out underneath and then drill your two holes. Line it up with the existing hole that's already there. Drill your two holes, mount this piece to the trunk, and then do the same thing for this side. Drill your two holes, mount this piece to the trunk. Once you get everything all lined up, then go through and tighten your brackets. Um, like I said, there's, there's, a, there's a little cap right here. It's got one screw there. Uh, there's two screws that go into the actual carbon fiber piece, and then two screws that go into the side mount on this side. Um, and then after that, you know, it's pretty much just, it's, it's straightforward from there, you know, as far as the install goes, it's just screwing everything together and then, you know, deciding whether you want to, um, get these little rubber grommets, these little rubber plugs, or take it to a body shop and get it filled or welded. You can still see the out. That's the only. That's another downside is you can see the outline on the trunk where the factory ring, uh, wing was. Um, so yeah. Other than that, the install it only took after we got everything figured out. It only took about I don't know, maybe an hour, an hour to install everything, drilling the holes, mocking everything up. Once we had the double-sided tape and getting everything lined up as far as putting this piece on because we because like I said there's those three holes up there that are exposed and then there's another hole here and another hole here along with the big hole for the third brake light so this piece covers up most of the holes but not those three up there and I'm okay with that because eventually what I did see is that people will go to Honda get their paint code and color match these little rubber plugs to uh, match the color of their vehicle and it actually doesn't look that bad so yeah um, if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment below I'll try to answer them as best as I can um, and I did a lot of research on this and I could not find anything on how to install this wing there's a lot of stuff on on the um, 8th gen forms as far as installing a legit Mugen wing, not the RR, just the actual Mugen wing with the third brake light. And of course, what they're doing now is they don't sell those to the general public anymore unless you have a Mugen VIN. They wanna make sure you've got an authentic vehicle before they'll sell anything to you. And if they do, it's still like eight or $900. This right here was 300 bucks. It looks decent. Yes, it's eBay parts, but you know, it it's, it works for me and I mean the paint is pretty much spot on this is the only thing that was wrong with this one that I got um, other than that everything else is good so yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um, subscribe like the video and have a great day